What is good, y'all, and welcome back. Now, in my last episode, if you did not catch it, you should catch it. But also catch this one. But catch that one as well. Catch them both. With both... I don't... Just just watch them both. But in this episode, um, I will be selecting my new team. And it's about to happen in like three. And then two. And then one. Now, check on the back of the, uh, the backboard. Or not the backboard, but the back side of the wall. You guys, you see the Portland Trailblazers... Symbol is there, the logo, and I am moving to Portland to play for the Portland Trailblazers. Now, uh, they did lose um, LaMarcus Aldridge, but I did feel like I could be a good addition to the team. They have Damian Lillard still. They have CJ McCollum, who is playing really well and has, and is having a breakout season. And they also do have Alfred Camino, who is also playing very well. And I feel like I could be a good addition to the team. Uh, they did lose a superstar, but I feel like I can be... Uh, an all-star not a superstar yet but you know an all-star type season now before we move into our two games we're gonna go to the off day uh, menu now in the off day menu you can do different things you can um, have connections with players you can um, do uh, sponsorships and you also can do live practice now I'm gonna do the one where you do connections with players I'm gonna try to connect with players that I think I could play very well with on a team maybe in the future hopefully or something like that so um, I'm gonna go with Eric Bledsoe for now as my first uh, person but you guys do see there's a locked item and the locked ones are like probably superstars like LeBron, Melo, players like that but um, once you get more fans you can you know do stuff with them so I'm gonna go with Melo, DeAndre, obviously Lillard he's on my team and Andrew Wiggins I feel like those guys will be great players so far that I could uh, you know work with those are four I have ten people to pick from so I'm gonna wait until I unlock more players and uh, pick from there but you guys do see, I'm about to go to a tattoo expo with my boy DeAndre Jordan. Now we all know he has like 50, 60 tattoos. I have one. So why am I going to a tattoo expo? I have one tattoo? I don't know, but they must really love my tattoo. So I'm going with him. Hopefully we can bond. I'm going to be like, yo, DeAndre. He's going to be like, yo, what's good, Andre? I'm going to be like, yo, we got the same name. He's going to be like, yo, that's fresh. I'll be like, that is fresh. And I'll be like, yo, DeAndre. He'll be like, yo, what's good, Andre? Y'all see? All right, I'm gonna stop. I'm getting out of hand here. But yes, we um are gonna do the tattoo expo there, and then we're gonna be playing two games in this episode. We're gonna be playing against the Chicago Bulls. Then we're gonna go all the way to New York, and we are going to play in Madison Square Garden. And hopefully, I can turn up there because y'all know Madison Square Garden is a lot of celebrities that go to those games. And hopefully, I can do well, you know. And then after that, we can go to the club with the celebrities and have a good time. You know what I'm saying? See, you already know what I'm thinking. But um, yes, let's get into this game. Okay, so I do not start. I come off the bench, and it's about 2 minutes and 23 seconds on the clock. We are already up by 7 points, so that is good. Now, um, hopefully I can do something good. Here's Mirotic with the shot, and oh, in my eye. Mirotic just knocked down the 3. I need to play better defense on that play, but here I go, and I'm going straight at Mirotic. I feel like he cannot handle me, but I'm going to hand the ball to Lillard, and Lillard with a layup, and uh, that is an assist for me. That is my first career Stat for the Portland Trailblazers team. So way to uh, you know start it off. Now Chris Kamen is here for the pick. I go around, pull up jumper, and that is good. My first shot is good for the Trailblazers, and I have two points, one rebound, and one assist so far. So good defense there. Vonley gets the steal, and Lil passes the ball to me. Now I have the ball, and Miro tickets on me once again. I give him a little shoulder bump. I drive to the basket. And another shot is good. This time it was a driving layup, and I am too athletic for Mirotic right now. Now the ball is launched down the court to me, and now Tony Snell is on me. And I'm backing him down. Oh, step back did not work. Pump face do not work, so I hand the ball to Tayshaun Prince. Vonley has it. Vonley feeds me the ball. A layup. It was good, but it was goaltending, but the basket still counts, and I still get my stats. So that is six points for me on the day. Now, I am here trying to strap Tony Snell, and we all know Tony Snell runs like a freak. And Jimmy Butler has the ball. Jimmy Butler passes to Tony Snell, and Tony Snell heard me talking trash about him, and he knocked the three down in my eye. Oh, my gosh. Now, we are down by four points after being up by eight at one point. The shot is up, and this shot is good. Chris Kamen with the turnaround jumper. And that is another assist for me on the day. Miltic with the shot. He misses it. 
I grab the board, and me being the point forward that I am, I dribble down the court. I find Joe Henderson, and the pull-up jump shot is good, and that is another assist and a rebound from me. And let's keep tallying on these stats. Now I have the ball at the three-point line. Pull-up jump shot is good. That is cash, straight cash, and I'm raining threes. All right, so I have 11 points in this game, and you guys do see the score. I am down by. My team is down by one point with 16 seconds left in this game. Now, I'm going to try to get this game-winning shot, but I need a pick. I need to create some space. So here comes Vaughn Lay. Vaughn Lay. What a terrible pick. And he runs away. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now I need to figure out how I'm going to get past Dunley V. I am not past Dunley V. Turn around, jump shot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What a bad pick by Von Lay to create space for me. And I had to just chuck up a random shot, and it was not good. And we lost that game by one. Definitely came to play tonight, but your teammates did not. How disappointed are you in them? Uh, I'm disappointed for sure. I don't ever want to lose, but this is on me as much as it is anybody else. Look, you can always do more. We'll figure it out, though. I have all the faith in the world in these guys. It had to be tough losing a game like tonight's. How did it feel to not pull this one out? Uh, it hurts. You never want to lose any game, but one like that when you feel like you could have had it, man, that's even worse, man. Please, next question. You went through a lot last year as you got acclimated to being in the NBA. And then you went through a tough time in the offseason with the death of your childhood friend, Victor. Can you explain your mindset to us as you try to move forward this season? Look, last year went by in the flash, so I ain't even thinking about it no more. It's about what I can do now with this team right here. Vic's gone, and sometimes I still can't believe it. But he's in a better place. And that has nothing to do with my play this season. None. So from now on, let's not bring up my past, and let's keep these things a basketball only, all right? I'm ready to take the next step this season, and that's all you need to know. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to move into this second game versus the Knicks, and hopefully we can get a victory here. Hopefully it does not come down to the end like it did last time, and uh, hopefully we can stop Carmelo Anthony. As you guys know, I'm a small forward, so I will be going against some of the best players in the league. But luckily enough for me, I'm coming off the bench for now, so I won't have to go with Melo. Go against Melo, I should say, for now, but I probably will at some point in the game. Now, I'm on Aaron Oflalo. And Melo has it. Now, we all know Melo likes to kind of ball hog a little isolation, we should call it. Not ball hog. What's called isolation? And there he goes with his isolation pull-up jump shot. And it's good. So, I mean, he could be ball hog. He could be isolation. But if he's making it, he can have the ball all he wants. Now, here I am with the ball. And I am too quick. And that is a... That is a step back. I feed the ball to Plumlee and Plumlee with the layup. And once again, my first stat of the game is an assist. I also have a block in this game, so that is good. But there goes Melo, and Melo is on fire already. That man is turning up. Now Barbosa is guarding me, and I drive past Leandro Barbosa, and that man is just a little too slow right now. The Brazilian blur lost some of his blur because of age, and now I'm able to just take over. Oh, good steal here. I picked up Jose Caron's pass, and then I passed it off to Tayshaun Prince. Tayshaun Prince with the bang time. And that is a steal and an assist for me in this game. So here we go again. And Mo Williams is on our team. We picked him up from the Cavs. So that is a good addition for a backup point guard. And I'm getting double teamed. I feed the ball to Chris Kamen. Who feeds the ball back to me. I go up and I miss the shot. But I get the rebound. I put it up. And oof. The rebound was the only stat I was missing. And I got it there. We are tied up at 16. But hopefully I can knock down these two shots. First one is up. And it is good. Now we are up by one point. So 
Second free throw is up. Second free throw is good. Okay, now Jose Cowan has the ball and he kicks it out to Barbosa. I don't know why I said it like that. Anyways, Carmelo with the shot. Carmelo with the three and he misses it, but I grab the board and I'm going to dribble up court. We're down by eight points here. So we need to score now. And I'm just doing moves. Melo, oh, he fell for the pump fake. And it is good. The bucket is good. That was a nasty play. You guys can't lie. That was that was pretty sick. Now I'm there. Oh, and what a left-handed block. Six points, two rebounds, two assists, two blocks, and one steal. Now the shot is good. Oh, my gosh. I'm on fire. I'm freaking in vibe. And you guys know when I do that, it's all over. So now we are down by nine points. Tayshawn Prince passes the ball out for me. Three-point shot is good. It is raining threes. I have 11 points already in this game. Now Chris Humphreys has the ball. And he finds Barbosa. Oh, by the way, guys, comment down below and let me know. What do you guys think about Porzingis? Porzingis has been playing really well uh, in real life. Like, he's been playing lights out, basically. I didn't think he would be doing this this early on in his career. But what do you guys think about him? Do you guys think he could be an all-star? I mean, not this year, but an upcoming all-star. Just comment down below and let me know uh, what you guys think. Now, Chris Humphries has the ball, and he is just taking his time. But he finds Jose Calderon. Now, Jose Calderon... Passes to Humphreys. Humphreys misses it, and I grab the board. I find Mo Williams, and Mo Williams takes the ball down the court. Mo Williams feeds me the ball. And I drive to the basket once again, and once again, that pump fake works. And we are now up by one point in this game. With about 18 seconds left in this third quarter, I have 13 points, four rebounds, two assists, two blocks, and three steals. Or one steal. Oh, I dribble to the basket. The layup is good. The N1 bucket is good. Let's go. Let's go. We are about one point now. 15 points in this game. Hopefully, I can make it 16 after making this shot. 2.4 seconds left in this third quarter. The shot is up. And the free throw is good. So, we move into the fourth quarter. And I have 16 points. But do you guys see the score and the time? Oh, what a block. Another block. Three blocks in this game. Oh, my goodness. But why? Tell me why. I'm only playing about 30 seconds in this game. Pull-up jumper is good. I mean, look at me. I've been on fire all game. I mean, when I was in, we were doing well. I'm shooting 63%. And now we're down by 10 points. And it looks like Isaiah Cannon, yes, they have Isaiah Cannon, is going to just waste the time out. And we're going to lose. I mean, this is just unfortunate. Uh, this is making me frustrated, and uh, I don't know what to do really right now. But I got to keep my head high. It is early on in this season, and uh, hopefully I get more playing time. Okay, now this is the live practice mode. And uh, live practice is um, pretty cool. You guys do see I did a dribble move, and I got VC for it. So that's pretty neat. Also, you can do drills in the live practice mode, which is also really cool. It's pretty different. So uh, if you guys are, you know, playing my player, um, I really, you know, I highly recommend that. But I do hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. You guys are the best. You guys have been the best and always will be the best. Once again, stay tuned for more videos coming out soon. And for now, you guys already know. Check out this shot. Oh, look at the moves. Let's look at the moves. Spin move. Jump into the basket. Look at that dunk. And I'm out.